can do whatever you're going. Three minute Friday or Tuesday or Wednesday, depending when I upload it, the maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get started. Today we talk about your draw shoulder. We learned already, we drop this shoulder. Good, now we have this down, but now they stand like this. This shoulder needs to drop too, and the shoulder is up here. This muscle doesn't do anything. We did this with, you find a wall, you press, shoulder down, like this, that you get this feeling. How is it? Shoulder up, shoulder down, shoulder up, shoulder down, right? Good. The same we can do with the right shoulder. You stand simply, find a wall, and there is your draw arm. Now you bring your elbow back, and now you feel is my shoulder up or is my shoulder down? And then you feel this movement here. So dropping the shoulder doesn't mean dropping the elbow. The elbow needs to stay up. So keep the elbow a little higher than your shoulder line and then press with the elbow against the wall, but then drop your shoulder blade. And then you start pressing here back like you stand in full draw, but then you figure here, this needs to go down. Same way out like this one. Let's assume this shoulder is down, shoulder blade looks like this. You stand like this, this shoulder blade is up, shoulder blade looks like this, and they touch like this and it's not going to work. It's only a small movement here, look, down there. And then you feel it. Then your shoulder blades come together like this, like standing like this and doing, because easy. Press, press back there, press really hard, and then here, bring your shoulder down. This is the feeling you want to have. You stand perpendicular to the wall and you simply in width of your elbow. So and now you start pressing like we did. Remember with the bow hand, you start pressing, bring your shoulder down. You do the same now with your right arm or when you right hand with your right elbow, press the right elbow against it and then feel it. When the shoulder is up and you press, you feel that there's a movement that you have to hold here with your muscles. Lock the shoulder down. You can press and oh, there's no movement. And then you feel here all these muscles engaged. Press when the shoulder's up. Mushy. Get this feeling again. And then it's simple. What most people do, you tell them and then they show you. But then the moment they have a bow in their hand, they forget about it and they stand like this again. Because they don't know, bow and arrow in the hand and they think about shooting and not about the posture anymore. Then they lose the sense for the posture. That's why it's easier you start with a rubber band, because then you don't think about shooting. And you can do it three fingers or thumb release, I don't care. See, you point, you bring your left shoulder down, feel it, draw back. And now when you're in full draw, you feel that you have to bring the right shoulder down too, not dropping the elbow dropping the shoulder. You see that there? You know, like see it? See that? Now it's down. Now my shoulder blades touch. You open your chest or you lean into the bow, you know, whatever you have to do. See? Shoulder down, shoulder up, shoulder down. You draw back, shoulder down. Stand there, drop your shoulder, you know, really down, lock it, draw back, shoulder down, lock it. Then you have it. So not dropping the elbow, elbow can point up but you drop your shoulder down and then your shoulder blades touch then you have this back tension. the first thing you want to do like you do with the left hand point push against the wall make sure that your shoulder is down right with the elbow push against the wall make sure your shoulder is down second stand alongside the wall press this direction with the elbow on the wall and then make sure you feel it again it's a different kind of feeling but here you still need to feel look up down while you press against the wall. See your shoulders, what they are doing in front of a mirror or have a friend when you stand there that it tells you, oh, because you think, oh, my shoulder is down, then, oh, oh, now it's down. How does it need to feel that both of my shoulders are down? When this one is always up, you will never reach full draw. See, this is here. Now I only roll down. See, I get one, two inches more only because of rolling my shoulder down. All this movement here, only because you still draw with your arm. And when you let go, you don't have this back tension. When you have back tension, the hand goes there, must go there. Don't think about your hand. When you think about your hand, you activate this muscle. Think about your elbow. I think about this elbow, I bring this elbow back, another shoulder down. And what happens is that instantly all these muscles work when I focus on my elbow instead of my hand. So simply when you draw, focus on your elbow. This elbow needs to come back 
in the opposite direction of where my arrow points. So not there. Need to come back there. And then you need to have your shoulders down. Then you have everything in line. Then of course you can lean in the bow and all this other stuff. I hope that was helpful. And it's so hot. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.